Hello everyone, welcome to Electronics Workshop. This is our second video in IoT series. Our first video was about introduction to Node MCO. If you have not watched that video, you can get its link in description below. In this video, we will be seeing how we can connect our Node MCO to any Wi-Fi or any RT sport. I have provided the required documentation about it in my website www.electronicsworkshop.com URL is in description box Once you click on the URL, you will get this interface In any IoT project, our first task is to connect our Node MCU to any Wi-Fi network. So, today's video is very important video because we must use this concept in every IoT project. The component required for this project are Node MCU and USB cable because we are just going to connect our Node MCU to Wi-Fi so there is no more hardware required for it. Before going to coding section, we must be familiar with some Wi-Fi connection command for ESP8266. First of all, we must include ESP8266's Wi-Fi.h in every project where we, need, where we require Wi-Fi connection. This contains ESP8266's library file. Our next function is Wi-Fi.begin. If you want to get connected to any Wi-Fi or local host or any RT sport network, then we must be familiar with its SSID and password. No router will give access to us without knowing its SSID and password. In the similar way, to get our node MCU to be connected in that network, we must know its SSID and password. So we must place the SSID of the router over here and we must place the password of the router over here. To make it more organized, we can also place the SSID and password of the router in the beginning of the coding section. The main advantage of doing such is, if your router SSID or password is changed, you can directly change it in the beginning of the code. Neither you need to search for Wi-Fi.begin function to change your SSID and password again. Our, the, our another command is Wi-Fi.status. This function provides the status of the Wi-Fi. With the help of this function, we can know whether our node MCU is connected to Wi-Fi, disconnected to Wi-Fi, or waiting for a connection. When you call this function, this function will return the certain value with the help of which we can know the, the status of our node MCU. Once our node MCU will get connected to the network, this function will return WL connected, which we are going to use in this project section. And our last command is Wi-Fi.localIP. When any hardware device get connected to router, Router will provide certain IP address to that device. So, when our node MCU will get connected to the router, with the help of this function, we can read the IP address of our node MCU. Now, coming back to the coding section, you can just copy the code from my website and paste it in Arduino IDE. First of all, you must include ESP8266 header file. In this section, you must place SSID of your network. In this section, you must place 
पासपोर्ट ऑफिस नेटवर्क You can directly place your SSID and passport in Wi-Fi but begin function without following this step. Serial but begin is used to see the result in your serial monitor. This while loop will continue until our node MC will get connected to Wi-Fi. The function Wi-Fi dot status will return. WL connected once node MC get connected to Wi-Fi. Unless it is connected to Wi-Fi, it will continue the while loop printing dot. When any hardware device is connected to Wi-Fi, it will get some IP address. Similarly, when our node MC get, will get connected to Wi-Fi, it will also have some IP address. With the help of this function, Wi-Fi dot local IP. We can view the IP address of our node MC. I think we are very much clear about our programming section. Now we'll upload the code in our node MC board and see the output. Go to Tools, select the board first. Come to node MC. Go. Go back to tools and select the port. Once board and port both is selected, you can upload the code in your Node MCU board. Our code is being uploaded to our board. Now, to see the output, you open your serial monitor. Wi-Fi connected, connection is established, and the IP address of our node MC is 192.168.1.34. If you cannot see output in your serial monitor. You just press reset button of your node MCU.